Hello and welcome back to another After Effects video. In this video, I want to look at using parenting. We're going to do stuff with alpha track mats and we're just going to look at how sort of to prepare compositions in general. So we kind of got a few clips. We've got the background, we've got the bumblebee on the flowers and you can see you've got an alpha mask showing this and the matte layer here is the landscape, which is the words. If we look at it in the layer, you can see what that looks like. There's the alpha channel there. Okay, so this is one way to do things, but there is a problem, which is that if we wanted to do something like this, you notice it's just moving the movie clip and the, the text itself is not moving. We may want to do those at the same time, right? So one we can do to do that is with parenting. Now parenting will affect the sort of first four things in the transform menu here, like anchor point, position, scale, and rotation. So it means that they'll, they'll move together basically. And you could, so for instance, we could take this button here and drag it on here. So it says shift move layer to parent's location and you can see some info in there. What it means basically now is if we try to move this around, we're now moving the whole lot, moving the clip and the mat as well. So if we wanted to move the movie clip independently, but we still wanted it to move with the mat. What we could do is we could just put them both onto a null object layer. So let's have a look at that. So we'll put the null object at the top and we'll put connect these two. You could do it like this as well. It doesn't really matter. You can do it whichever way you want. So say we wanted to move the position keyframes and we just wanted to move and we'll still we'll do like a, a simple thing which is just to like uh minus 200 and we'll just move somewhere you know uh where were we about 15 1400 maybe yeah that'll do you right so something like that so there's what the null layer is doing and you can see this all moving because the children of this null layer are both the mat and the movie the good thing is though, is that we then, we also have the ability to actually like move stuff around. So say we wanted like, I don't know, the map, the text to be rotating or something like that. So we could then say, we could then go down here and we could say, yeah, you know what? Actually, I also want the text to rotate a little bit as well. So we'll, we'll, maybe just a, a little rotation here, like a 360 during its travels here. So you can see, now we can make it rotate as well. Another thing to realize about what is happening in general with the layers is the layers are rendered from the bottom up. And what happens is, is background will render, then the alpha track map will render, then layer styles will render kind of at the end. So what it means, if we put a layer style on here, it would be after the, the, the track map and after everything. So let's have a look at that. So we'll do a layer style and We'll go for uh, Bevel and Emboss. All right, so if we go to Bevel and Emboss, we're going to just change it up. Um, we'll do Depth. I like to do Pillow and Emboss, because that's a bit more impressive looking. No real reason, to be honest. So if to say we did like some wild one like that, you can do like a bunch of different things, obviously, with this. Uh, and then let's take a look at the clip. So that is the order that you'd want to do that in, right? Uh, the other thing that you could do as well is you could also do some effects. You could also do an adjustment layer as well. Um, you do have to be careful with the background because the adjustment, like I told you, it, it goes bottom up. So if you put an adjustment layer and you put a bunch of effects on the top, uh, it will go bottom up and uh, it will affect everything basically. But we could try putting one on anyway. And there is actually another bevel option that I happen to see, which is bevel alpha. Let's maybe put that on as well. You can see it's beveling the actual uh, background. That is another thing that you could potentially do. Uh, yeah. So thanks for watching.